Hello, friends. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a potential way to increase the bioavailability of sulforaphane from your favorite cooked cruciferous vegetable. Anybody that's been following me for a while knows that I love sulforaphane, which means I also love cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables include things like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, collard greens, uh, wasabi, watercress, and broccoli sprouts. The reason this, this uh, family of vegetables is a great source of sulforaphane is because they contain the precursor to sulforaphane called glucoraphanin. Glucoraphanin gets converted into sulforaphane once the plant tissue becomes basically broken, so crushed, chewed, chopped, etc. The enzyme responsible for converting glucoraphanin into sulforaphane is called myrosinase. Now, unfortunate for us, my myrosinase is heat sensitive, which means during the heating process of the vegetable, it becomes inactive. When it becomes inactive, it is no longer able to perform the function of converting glucoraphanin into sulforaphane, which unfortunately decreases the bioavailability of sulforaphane. Many people like to probably eat cooked broccoli, sauteed kale, cooked cauliflower, uh, compared to the raw broccoli cauliflower kale. Eating raw is good as well, but it's nice to find ways to increase sulforaphane levels if you're going to cook the vegetables. So a recent study came out showing that men who ate um, cooked broccoli, but also supplemented with one gram of mustard seed extract, were able to increase sulforaphane levels, um, bioavailability of sulforaphane by fourfold, which is quite significant. Um, the reason for this is because the mustard, mustard seed is also from the cruciferous family, and it contains a viable enzyme, myrosinase enzyme. So if you add the mustard seed extract to the cruciferous vegetable after it's been cooked, then you're adding back a viable source of myrosinase, which can then convert all that glucoraphanin that's in the cruciferous vegetable, which is not sensitive to heat. It can convert it into sulforaphane. So um, I personally like to sprinkle mustard seed extract on top of my cr uh, cooked broccoli or sauteed kale. Um, I also you li like to eat the raw cruciferous plants as well. But, um, you know, probably one of the, the easiest litmus tests to do to see whether or not the mustard seed extract is um, does contain viable myrosinase, aside from running an HPLC and mass spec and, and measuring it, which most of us aren't doing, is to, to taste it and see if it has a little bit of a bitter taste because um, that should, should suggest that there is viable myrosinase present in the mustard seed extract. So there you have it. Add some mustard seed extract to your cooked broccoli or sautéed kale or your cooked Brussels sprouts and um, increase your bioavailability of sulforaphane. And for anyone that's wondering why I want more sulforaphane in my life, you should definitely check out the comprehensive video that we put out on sulforaphane or the podcast episode with Dr. Jed Fahey from Johns Hopkins, who is an expert on sulforaphane and broccoli sprouts and all things cruciferous uh, to learn more about how sulforaphane has been shown to have a positive effect on glucose re regulation, on inflammation, on glutathione levels, on brain function, cancer incidence, and so much more in humans. So make sure you check those out if you haven't seen those videos or those episodes as well. Talk to you next time.